Placemakers in the world's great cities are challenged by how to integrate dynamic new spaces that respect the heritage and unique personality of the urban areas we love, as well as improve the lives of people using them. It's called Urban Regeneration, and I've come to a precinct in the heart of Melbourne's CBD to see how well it can be done. The first thing you notice about 405 Burke Street is its proximity to the exciting and creative laneway culture that makes Melbourne such a wonderful pedestrian experience. The city is a famous destination for premium leisure and business travellers, and the restaurants, bars, cafes and galleries here will enjoy new customers from the premium grade office tower that now sits cantilevered over an existing heritage building. It's an incredible engineering achievement and central to the larger precinct story here. Carl Shabrovsky from Brookfield Properties explains. When we took on this project, it was really a decision to say that this, the city of Melbourne really needed to start looking back in on itself. For, for decades, it had kind of looked at, towards the Kilda Road or, or South Bank or the Docklands. It was a bit slightly sort of problematic site, you know, and it had a, a failed retail centre on it and it had some residential development that had been on it. So it was a chance to really reclaim the city and you couldn't get more central to the HODL grid because we're right on the crosshairs um, of Burke Street and Elizabeth Street. So a complex site, but well located and technically difficult to solve. We did a, a really in-depth um, pedestrian study when we started and we actually had three to four hundred people a day walking through our car park. So it, it proved that to stitch the great laneways like Hardware Lane and in, in through um, Little Collins Street to MacKillop Lane and found that it was really all about it being the missing link and it's an important thing to, to put that back as another contributor to that sort of part of the city. I know that you love a challenging site but were there surprising challenges in this site as well? Yes, I think the, the, the greatest challenge was effectively finding ground to put the building on. So the real solution to that was ultimately to cantilever over the top of a, a live residential building. So the building comes up 40 metres and cantilevers out 16 metres. And that was uh, ultimately a very difficult problem for the design team and, and, and really well resolved by multiplex in the construction phase. Yeah, beautiful. Of course, the view from that cantilevered space is incredible. It's probably my favourite part that I've seen so far. What's your favourite part of the site? Oh, I think the lobby and arrival experience. It's an incredibly generous space and has on the front of it, we call it the, um, the lantern facade. And it's a, a series of ribs that are basically a glazed element that, that are backlit at night time. And that looks just amazing. The development of 405 Burke Street has delivered 63,000 square metres of premium, light-filled workspaces for anchor tenant NAB. It's transformed an underutilised and neglected part of the CBD and created a new retail laneway that seamlessly integrates the precinct with the rest of the CBD. It's uniquely Melbourne and was designed by Nick Corrales and the team at Woods Bagot. Tell me about the design vision of this space. You know, I spent a lot of time abroad and when I was thinking about projects as I meditate during the weekends I went to an exhibition in the Tate Modern in London and leaning against this wall were 11 panes of glass mm. by Gerhard Richter mm. and it mesmerised me in terms of the depth and density and the refraction and the distortion and the 11 planes became this idea where I could begin to slip them, mm. create internal volumes, slip them on the external facade, create shadow and light, slip them to interface with heritage. So it's funny how the mind works. I wasn't thinking that that piece of art could become a building, yeah. could become a place. Yep, and how lovely that that contemporary art has become a focus of this piece that also has the heritage to it as well. Absolutely, and that's one of the beauties of the profession of architecture and placemaking is its relationship with art. It is surrounded by a lot of beautiful heritage buildings on the site, so it's interface mm. and it's cantilever over its gestures to the old colonial podium city that we had, that this building doesn't jam itself on, it actually relieves itself through the truss system up on the upper levels that it sort of hovers and is as light as a feather or as light as glass. So it's doing a couple of things yeah. in creating lightness and density in the centre of Melbourne. This building proves the thesis even more strongly that art is a genesis of contemporary space. It's absolutely glorious. I have lots of favourite spaces. Do you have one favourite space here? Well the truss zone for me 
And, and in many ways, you kind of don't create that on your own, you create it out of engineering. And engineering at the moment, I think where we are historically with infrastructure and art, that engineering is this in-between space that is really emancipating humanity. Mm -hmm. Can we be on planet Mars? Can we occupy tunnels? Yeah. Can we suspend over? And the answer today is yes, we actually can do this thing. We can achieve these, these qualities. Yeah, wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. The engineering innovations at 405 Burke Street have enabled the construction of a 30-floor A-grade sustainable office tower that is full of natural light and unique open spaces that flow from the outdoor roof terrace on the top floor all the way through to the laneways and retail core of Melbourne below. It's a wonderful opportunity to design a great workplace and I've come to see what Victoria Mogford and the team at NAB have done here. It is a really beautiful space, so congratulations. Thank you, we're very proud. I'm sure. And tell me why you chose this space as your home. So NAB has had a long-standing presence in Burke Street. Mm. Uh, and actually, when we were doing 700 Burke Street a number of years ago now, we talked about the Burke Street spine. Yeah. So really, this location was a perfect fit for mm. us in continuing that Burke Street spine. And it is right in the heart of the city. It's an incredible location. Absolutely. What was your design vision? It was very much around creating space. And it came down to the three key things around people, place and technology and we wanted to ensure we were enabling those components to move the bank forward to be a relationship-led bank. And I can see that in this space. So it feels very strongly connected to the culture. How will the space drive your brand? NAB made a really definite decision that we wanted to come in through 395, that lobby, as opposed to the 405 lobby. Coming in through 395, we will have a micro branch on the left hand side and that provides great brand presence at the street level. We also have phenomenal sky signage as well and actually driving in this morning, seeing the building completing the skyline, that was a great moment as well. Yeah, how wonderful. So Victoria, there's lots of different beautiful spaces here, obviously for different purposes. In the hybrid way that we are now working, we are always challenging what type of workspace we want to provide for our people, yeah. which could be either working from home in a third space or in the office. So we've enabled spaces already within the design. Is there a space that you love more than the others? So one of my favourite elements is our timber portal. The Timber Portal is actually doing many things. It's creating a main entry statement, so when you come into the building, it's guiding you to the NAB reception. When you get up close to it and look at the detailing, it really is second to none. Provides a great sort of warmth as you come in, which Timber naturally does, and I think our people and, and customers really respond well to natural materials. So we're very proud of this element. When you walk around this precinct and really appreciate its complexity and scale, it's hard to believe the challenges the developer had to overcome the construction. Will Green is the project director from Brookfield Properties. Will, this is a beautiful space. Thank you. You must be incredibly pleased to have it done. It's finished. Yes, it's a, it's a huge relief to um, finally reach that milestone of mm. handing over the building to NAB. It's been a long time coming and, and we're really proud of what we've been able to achieve. I have heard there were a few challenges along the way, is that true? Uh, there's a list of, of many of challenges <laughs> that we've had. We've had the bushfires, we've had obviously the complexity with COVID and, and logistics behind the procurement of materials and, and I suppose that the one that really got us was um, when the ship got stuck in the Suez Canal. Oh wow! Yeah, so yeah. We, we unfortunately had the, uh, the ship that was right behind it, was carrying all our travertine for the, for the lobby. So we, you couldn't make it up some of the some of the issues we've had to overcome but it's been it's been a challenge but it's been really 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 good yeah great absolute project of a lifetime i think it is yeah no it really is we're standing in the trust zone and the cantilevered system that we're seeing behind us is one of a kind so the mega trusses are held together through bolts and welds the welds were all individually done by hand and there's a total of four kilometers of welds all within this single space and what it does is it unlocks the ability to deliver large floor plates um, right in the heart of the city and and so it looks very simple yeah. and it looks beautiful but it's really complex and there's so much steel and, and supports that are, that are keeping the building 
uh, obviously up. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're, we're really proud of this, this area here. It's absolutely breathtaking, so congratulations. Thank you. This restoration of the central Melbourne CBD is driven by a new population of around 4,000 people that 405 Burke Street attracts to the precinct every day. The precinct was built by Multiplex and Graham Cottam led the construction team. It's a big building. How big are the floor plates? Well, the floor plates are 2,800 square metres, which is about uh, tennis, nine tennis courts. Wow. So, yeah, it's a fair size, plenty of open space, and it gives you that... Um, open plan. Yeah, and how did you fit in that floor space? It doesn't look like from the street that you could fit it in. How did you do that? Uh, well, a lot of cranes, <laughs> a lot of time, yeah. and a lot of planning. Yeah. I mean, there must have been challenges on a site like this. Well, there was. I mean, initially we had to demolish a lot of the existing, you know, structures, mm. get, you know, pave the way to put in the, you know, the foundations required for this building. Yes. Um, you know, this was probably the hardest structural engineering part of the building that we had to construct. And it's really spectacular as a result. So why was it so difficult? What was it about this space? I think, well, mainly because it's a cantilever. The steel is massive. Mm. Unfortunately, you can't see it because it's encased in plasterboard, yeah. but I mean, the steel members, some of them we lived to were over 20 tonnes. Wow. The planning was probably a year yeah. and the building was probably six months. So yeah. everybody came together to come up with what we call safety and design. Mm. And it went together, you know, perfectly. Nobody, no, there were no issues in the whole journey. So it was a pretty spectacular outcome. And what's your favourite part of the space? Well, probably this mm. and probably the very high seven level, you know, lobby. Yeah. That's pretty spectacular. It is spectacular. The air in there is yeah. just glorious. I mean, it's almost church-like, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You're right. You yeah, know? absolutely is. Yeah, beautiful. Well, congratulations. It's glorious. Thank you. After 10 years in development and over 310,000 cubic metres of concrete, 10,000 tonnes of structural steel and 3,300 on-site workers, 405 Burke Street can proudly take its place in the heart of Melbourne CBD and be enjoyed for generations to come.